Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and I wanted to get a video out on the channel because there is going to be an exciting event going on in the Raid Shadow Legends community. Shout out to Hell Hades and all of the team over there at HH Gaming. The free to play competition version 2024 is going to be commencing very soon, starting tomorrow. And it's something that is open not only content creators, but also everyone in the community is welcome to play as well. And they actually did this last year in 2023. So they've already done a free to play competition like this before. And the last one they did was super hype and super fun. It's probably one of the cooler things that I've seen happen in the Rage Shadow Legends community because the way they do it is over on their website, hellhades.com, they have leaderboards and everything where it tracks the accounts automatically. So you can see like, who is doing the best in the arena, who is making the most progress in dungeons and all of that. And it's really cool to see automatically tracked leaderboards on a site that you can go kind of compare and see how you're doing. And you don't even need to whale out or spend a ton of money to compete or anything because it's a free to play competition. So every account is monitored and then banned if they spend. So if you're looking for a fun, new, exciting way to test yourself in Rage of the Legends and learn the game and see how you compare to other people who are playing and be able to track it live. It's an amazing and fun event for that. And I'm going to link down below to the video that Hell Hades recorded that you see going on over here. You definitely want to check that out because he does a good job of walking you through everything you're going to need to know in terms of getting signed up and how to get the optimizer set up on your end so that you can be automatically integrated into the leaderboards and everything going on. But also there's going to be a stream going on tomorrow that I believe Hell Hades is going to be hosting and I may be a part of that. We're still kind of planning that and lining it up, but there's going to be a hype event going on tomorrow live on stream where content creators like me are going to be placed into teams that compete against each other and then also allowing everyone in the community to enter and compete as well so definitely check out his video to get the full context but there is something that i wanted to talk about in my video and right here you can see that hell hades is going over the promo codes a list and some of the rules going on with the free to play competition but one of the main things that we're going to have to decide as players is which new player promo code do we want to take advantage of and there's a few different epics that you can get in the game as a new free to play account. So I want to discuss which one that I'm probably going to go with and why. And if we load the promo codes for new players list over there on the right to zoom in on it a little bit, the way they're doing the competition is we're not allowed to do the Sun Wukong promo code and acquire him as a legendary. And then we're also not allowed to use legendaries that we summon on the account it's going to have to be a legendary that you fuse like a rosin or you acquire in a more open to all players sort of way because what ended up happening last year was there was this weird promo going on for shards in game where some accounts were guaranteed to get a legendary champion within the first like five ancient shards they pulled on their account and then they use that champion to just snowball like crazy so the way it's happening this year is only an epic you can get from the new player codes no legendaries and then also any legendaries that you pull from shards you would not be able to use either so it could be mostly epics and rares and uncommons that people are using to develop these accounts and that will hopefully do a better job of leveling the playing field to help everybody kind of feel like they have a chance at least for the first few weeks before people jump out to like huge leads and stuff but the one that i think i'm going to be going for out of these you've got like your lady quillen and then you've got talia mordecai and deacon here from these different promo codes that are available for people to claim an epic champion when they make their new account now personally I think I'm going to be going with Deacon Armstrong here in the Sacred Order, the epic that you see that I've got pulled up right now because Deacon is just so generally useful here with the aura in all battles of 19%. Our starting champions are only going to have that small HP aura and I want this speed aura available on my progression phase. Plus, we've got turn meter fill and decrease turn meter with an extra turn completely ridiculous going to help you out in the early bronze levels of arena as well to get through that as soon as possible and then what do we need on our account when we are a new player in raid 
we definitely need an AOE defense down. Usually your first damage dealer is going to be your starting champion. And then you need to supplement them with an AOE defense down. This is why champions that are super budget, like War Maiden as a rare that you can get from the campaign, have always been super popular throughout the lifespan of Raid. But we can cover that base here with Deacon. And then he also has an A1 to place a Leech, which is going to be extremely effective when you're trying to get through things like progressing in the Dragon because your main DPS can heal every time they hit the Dragon. Or you're trying to build those early game Demon Lord teams. You can place that Leech and be able to self-sustain a little bit longer than you otherwise would but even then on top of that deacon is going to be a complementary affinity to our starting champion which is obviously going to be magic affinity but then deacon if we build him in the early game to bring a little bit of utility damage as well just for like that first few days or week or whatever he's going to be able to hit strong against like the force affinity stages where our starting champion is weak and at least help you out a little bit in the early game to supplement and get magic and spirit affinity so if i go with like my starting champion plus deacon it's going to give me a guaranteed route to having a solid first two champions to work on plus any epic books that i acquire i'm going to have somewhere to spend them on a champion like deacon that i will use for the whole duration of the account and then also as far as starting champions now when i made my main account i actually picked gaelic and back when i made my main account there was zero content for raid there was no websites there was really nothing going on and so my thought process back then in 2019 when i didn't know anything i was like you know what gaelic is the literal face of the app this orc guy here is the app icon so there's no way that he's trash i mean he's gotta be uh at least a decent choice so i went with Galek, and then it turns out uh kind of the way the meta evolved he ended up being a choice number four in terms of most people rating him and most people were going with either Athel or kale is kind of what it ended up settling into but elaine is also pretty solid for early game having more aoe and stuff like that so i wonder which one i'll go with um i don't think it's as obvious of an answer as it used to be in like 2019 2020 where it was like kale is just so by far and away the best starting champion but now there's a lot more options in terms of early game poisoners they released like frozen banshee and all sorts of different poisoners that can be early game options so might be a good poll here on the channel like what's the best starting champion in 2024 i'll put that over on the community tab i would still probably lean towards kale uh but it's something i'm gonna have to think about here over the next 24 hours or so in terms of which starting champion to choose for the free to play competition it'll be interesting to see what everybody chooses when they make their accounts so yeah it should be a lot of fun and i'm excited for this to kick off and honestly it's going to be really cool for me because i've never really done the free-to-play competitions or like the alt accounts or anything i've never really done that i've just kind of been playing raid since the start so it's going to be an exciting opportunity for me to have my eyes opened to what it's like to be a new player in the newest iterations of raid because it's going to be way different than back when i started in 2019 five years ago so it's going to be a fun experience for me to do this and i hope all of you will check out the hell hades video that i linked down below and try to get involved as as well so i appreciate all of you remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy raid shadow legends content and i will see you soon in the next video thanks for watching peace